Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Ethiopia is home to some incredible and unique drainage systems, from a massive rivers like Wabishabelle to a stunning lakes of Rift Valley. We are diving deep into a fascinating drainage system, exploring how these rivers shape the land and life. Let's get into it. All right. Let's start with the southeastern drainage system. This area is a home to two powerhouse rivers, Wabishabelle and Gannale. These rivers carry a huge amount of water, shaping the landscape and connecting Ethiopia to Somalia. Let's take a closer look at how these rivers flow through the land. Nearly the entire physiographic region of southeastern part of Ethiopia is drained by the southeastern drainage systems. The basin, which is mainly drained by Wabi Shabale and the Ganale, slopes southeastward across a large water deficit plains. Major highlands of this basin include the plateaus of Arsi, Bale, Sidama, and Harargi. Wabi Shabale and the Ganale rivers cross the border into Somalia carrying 25% of the annual water flow of Ethiopia. Building on what we have just discussed, let's see each river separately. Gannale River. Gannale River Basin has an area of 171,042 square kilometer, covering a part of Oromia, SNNPR, Somali, regions. Gannale, which have fewer tributaries but carries more water than Wabi Shabale, reaches Indian Ocean. The basin flows estimated to be 5.8 billion metric cube with an elevation ranging between 171 up to 4,385 meters above sea level. In Somalia, Gennale is named the Juba River. The other major river in Southeast drainage system is Wabi Shabale. Wabi Shabale with a total catchment area of 202,697 km2 is the largest river in terms catchment area. Wabi Shabale drains a part of Oromia, Harari, and the Somali regions. It is the longest river in Ethiopia. Despite its size, the Wabi Shabale fails to reach Indian Ocean, where at the end of its journey, it flows parallel to the coast before it is the waters disappears in the sands just near the Juba River. Now, let's head over the Rift Valley, where things get a bit more interesting. This area is super dry with high evaporation rates and a drainage system unlike anything else in Ethiopia. The Awash River is the major player here. And let's just say it's got quite the journey. Let's explore. Rift Valley drainage system is an area of small amounts of rainfall, high evaporation, and a small catchment area. The size of the drainage area is restricted by the outward sloping highlands, which starts right from the edge of the escarpment. 
the rift valley drainage system is therefore left with the slopes of the escarpment and the rift valley floor itself as the catchment area. Awash River. The only major river basin is that of Awash. Awash River Basin has a catchment area of 114,123 km2 and has an average annual discharge of 4.9 billion cube meters. The Awash River originates from Shawa Plateau in the central highlands of Ethiopia and flows 1,250 kilometers. It covers a part of Amahara, Oromia, Afar, Somali, Dredoa, and Addis Ababa city administration. Awash is the most utilized river in the country. In the Rift Valley drainage system, there is no one general flow direction as the streams flow in all directions. Following the Rift Valley orientation, the Awash flows in the northeast direction. It finally ends in a mass of small lakes and marshy area, the largest of which is Lake Abe on the Ethiopian Djibouti border. Afar Drainage Subbasin The Afar Drainage Subbasin has practically no stream flow. It is an area of little rain, very high temperature, and very high evaporation. Lake Afrera and Lake Asale are the only main surface waters in the basin which are not the result of any meaningful surface flow. Their formation is related to tectonic activities. Lake region. The southern part of the Rift Valley subbasin is characterized by a number of lakes and small streams. It also described as a lake region. The lakes occupy a fault depression. There are small streams that drain down from the nearby mountain slopes which supply water to the lakes. For example, Maki and Qatar rivers flow into Zuai, Belate into Abaya, and Sagan into Chobar. Likewise, some of these lakes are interconnected. Lakes Zuai and Langano drain into Lake Abeata through small streams of Bulbula and Horokolo, respectively. So, there you have it from the vast southeastern basins to the mysterious Rift Valley. Ethiopian's waterways are more than just rivers, they are a vital lifeline for environment and the people who live here. Hope you enjoyed the journey. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ring the bell so you never miss any video. Catch you in the next one.